Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Metro Exodus, the DLC, the two colonels. We're here with Colonel Klevnikov in the Novosibirsk Metro. We are burning everything. There are worms everywhere and it's disgusting. Now, I haven't really learnt much else other than it is awful living in this metro. <laughs> it's just like the worst experience you could possibly have. Um, so we're burning everything we see. Uh, we just toasted a worm. Imagine we're going to have to toast a few more. Colonel, sir, I just had maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Nice. Great. Thank you. Great enthusiasm, Klebnikov. Oh, still locked. Oh. Let's get the hell out of here, Colonel. That's a that's a Miller, no. Your mission accomplished. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep up duty after you, sir. Ah, S cut that. Stop sweep groveling. Up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great. We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Thank you, sir. Good job, fellas. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. Yeah, I'm sure we know that. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Good, yes, radiation. <laughs> Good. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. I'm aboard, Colonel Sir. Now we are naked. Thank you. Hey guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir. We're waiting for Opa. the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes. yes, sir. Bosh. Bosh. Lousy drunk. Roger that. Over and out. Opa! So. We got the old school music. Always warms the heart. Like a dose of radiation. Sir, roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no, please. I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. Opa! <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. 
It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. Opa. Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time, like it always does. Yeah. And see, the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Ah, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter-flooding system will give up the ghost. And we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Thank you, big man. All oh, these people are just dead now. And, uh, what they said, they, they was like when they were clearing the train tracks up above on the surface, they were about 90% complete before it all went tits up, right? We're there. Thanks for giving me a lift, Petrovich. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. And don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by. As he is Kirill's know, father. He'll be there. Thanks, Petrovich. Petrovich. All right, fellas. Colonel, sir. Yes. Salute. Hey, who's snoring in the colonel's presence? Yeah, so Kirill is our son. Colonel, sir. Good. At least they salute properly. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The general is expecting you. All right, opa. <laughs> okay, I'll stop saying that now. Your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, Slava, I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. I shall. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Hmm. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Don't okay? point at me. Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. Better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. Cigar? A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold oh, you any green, longer. So. Unless... How about some tea? Yeah, sure. <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Sergio doing? Tea. <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man! An Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? He still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. 
thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero lover isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. True. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. <laughs> oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. Hey, but stop I say on philosophy. they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Yeah. Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity. If they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. <laughs> that was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course, too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a Happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year, General. Same to you, Tolia. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. I hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. I'm sure you'll nail it, buddy. Thank you, comrades. With all the clapping. Colonel, sir. Evening. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Greetings. We're going to get a show. Get out of the way, you drunk. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. Really? I hadn't noticed. You'd Thank better you. go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. Reminiscent of Metro Last Light. You filthy drunkard. Just look at yourself, you pig. <laughs> <laughs> look, Tanya, I just... Oh, so Tanya, this come is on. the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away. Okay, now I'm on Tanya's oh, side. Oh, come on, Tanya. Come on. Just look. Look at what your son has to wear. Yes. Look at what I have to wear. There's no food at home. Do you understand that? I am in debt to everyone. I can't even look the neighbors in the eye. Do you even care about us? You're a disgrace. You drunk everything away. All the green stuff you got. Oh dear. They didn't give much to greedy bastards. Uh, anyway, come on. Come on. It's the New Year's. It's the New Year's. You scum. Slime. Drunkard! A disgrace! Why did I ever marry you? Because he's a good time? <laughs> come on, it's the new year. Oh, come on, Tanya. Hey. Got it. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. I don't like this guy. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. Thank you. Happy New Year, sir. Who are you idiots calling the brass? By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? Copyright the one claim. With the big ears. He also keeps telling ancient jokes all the time, don't he? <laughs> Happy oh, New Year, my... Colonel Klebnikov. Happy New Year, buddy. Ooh. Look, <laughs> who have we got here? We are going to go outside, are we not? We're not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. Exactly. Oh, what a surprise! Drink to the new year with us, Colonel, sir. Who 
Hello, sir. Join us, please. We'd be happy. Where's my cop? Uh, sorry, guys, but I gotta get home see my son. Happy New Year to you all. Let me at least hug you. Not now. So, say we go outside and meet the army. Some units must have. This guy's trying to pull all the moves out the here. Ones. He's having no luck. So, who you meet? And they ask you to introduce yourself. So you oh, say, he's moving I'm in. Major Bikov. And they go. Oh, she's oh, having none of it. It's real weird. She needs a few more, a few more drinks, mate. Come on, we're gonna be late. Oh, oh. You know. You little chimp. I will not let him win. Gee, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your sit rep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I, mean, I was just man. doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Mission accomplished. Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. A compass or watch. Yeah. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Sounds wow. like he smokes three packs a day. This is so kid. beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Opa. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better. And it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, Seven. Come on, six, guys. 5, 4, Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Okay, the sound wasn't great there, was it? Damn! No. Suck the damn generator is out again. Jump back to Miller, maybe? Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. More men. Found it! Thank you, Private. Can we come down here with Artyom at some point? Citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir, 
Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? The packing We're up. all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest... You know what's drinks? at stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? All right, buddy. <sighs> Don't mind if I do. Help yourself, then. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the start. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning yep. the common folk. Yep. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, Look at this as a war on leaving the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Yeah. Cynical, but realistic. But Toby doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia. Well, uh, I mean... So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. He basically hinted that I had an official paper, signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? What could it be? Yes, General, everything is as you say. Thank you for seeing me despite your busy schedule. You do understand that we had all our hard-earned wealth confiscated, so we are worried. He walked me to the door and shook my hand, with all respect. You weakling! What did I tell you? You had to make a stand! These papers are good for nothing, save for adorning the walls of fucking fools! You had to demand a real document, and I owe 
you from the general himself, with date and his signature. You are a respectable man, Yakov. How can you let him do this to you? There was nothing else for me. He let me know right off the bat. It's obvious, really. It's in the way he looked, his handshake. He would have declined, so I just saved face. That's just because you, Yakov, are a coward and he knew you'd give in. You just had to push back. Just, just stay here. I'll go talk to him and get the thing that we need. You'll see. Someone must have some balls in this family. Don't you dare. It's all done already. All said and done. <sighs> My mom was right about you after all. I... Okay. So, real seeds of rebellion here. How's the situation, Sergeant? They're getting restless, sir. Yeah. Our only option is to remain calm and not let ourselves be provoked. Yes, sir. Come on. Do we have to wait week? Come on. Oh, how can you do this to us? Karma, please, tell them to do something. Please, remain calm. Please, Karma, tell them to start handing it out. We can't wait anymore. Colonel, sir, please permission to address. They'll be starting soon. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. Oh my god. Alright, big man. Chill out, buddy. Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch, soldier boy. I just remember the new year. Here! Didn't Come over here, right sir! Over here. Do you remember? Of course. Open up, Petrovich. Yeah, he's been uh, stockpiling. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Sorry, Pat Petrovich. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. What the hell is with you? I know, but it we was followed the rules. I found a cash you know it. He does have some. I can't Not say. too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. There's a quota to me. Ah, uh, Petrovich, you're a friend. Enough debating. Resume the search. Whoa, whoa, no. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Excess. Oh, I took too long. Come on now. I was trying to press le left. I don't know what that meant. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava. Ah. Oh. Take care. Sorry, guys. So, what did he say? Well, yeah, we listened to you already. They understand our predicament and they value our contribution and Hello, sir. I feel like we need to be kind to Petro Petrovich. I don't know what the, the handshake with the heart is. Please, Karma, please, tell them to do something. According to the list. Please, Karma, tell them to start handing it out. We can't wait anymore. Colonel, sir, permission to address. Yes, yes, yes. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those. But he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. What the hell is with hey, you? I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch, so <laughs> I just remember the new year. Didn't All right, Petrovich. Here, Here, open up, Petrovich. Slava. Come in. Thanks. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't. You know I can't do that. I'm guessing the it left is for my is granddaughter. To I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip yeah. about your stock and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. 
I know, but it we was follow the rules. I found a cash, you know it. He does have some. I can't Not say. too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You the know it's... We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Report it, then. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank Don't you. Don't mention it. Thank you, Slava. Okay, glad I reloaded. Enough enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air. It was calculated properly. And you're short. Pay the rest. Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You took all the green stuff from the people, the trade is dead, and you saddle me with a quota fit for a mogul. Put yourself in my shoes. I have a quota as well, and nobody cares how I'm gonna meet it. Oh, everyone's so desperate. Quota schmota, I can't just wish for more green stuff to appear out of thin air. And you can tell your superiors that. Colonel, sir. At ease. Lieutenant, I think we must make do with what we have. I understand, Colonel, sir. You are dismissed. I wonder if... I don't think any of them survived, did they? But some of them might have, I don't know. Oh, hello there. Where's the town? Saw that? Sure. Event Cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather. Or the depot. Dead? How? He Why? probably thought we were swimming in green stuff here, that dumbass. <laughs> okay, that's probably the way we're supposed to go, right? Let's check upstairs first. So there are... they put dialogue decisions in this. You keep saying that I'm just a dirty whiner and that everything will be fine. Do you still think it will? Taking all the green stuff Of course. We are in a tight spot, too, but you've got to look at the bright side. Where? Where do you even see that bright side? I told you this day would come, we would run out of the green stuff eventually, and you all laughed at me. Well, look who's laughing now. The last time we had some green stuff supply problems, you also shouted the sky was falling, didn't you? You certainly did. And the last time before, you were in an abject panic. Five years ago, too. You remember that? Yet it was all sorted out. Every time. Well, I made a few mistakes, but I was right in principle. After I guess all, the person the always who always predicts disaster and misery is going to be right at some point, and when it does go wrong, they just say, I told you, I told you, I told you it was all going to go wrong. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. I'm sorry for the mess here, but the refugees just keep coming in. The dirty stations have it real tough. The general ordered they are kept here for the moment. Then we'll pass them on. Yeah. I see. Thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> Need to get the hell out of this metro, boys. Oscom, open up! Ah. Hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. What have we got? Mushrooms? Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't to want To be a Private! What? And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. 
That's why we must take from those who have lots of it, and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock, while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course, those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them! They must apologize! Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. I wonder how they survived in the end. Done. Kirill, Mueller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Ted, do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, Thanks, son. son. All right. So we got a double barrel and uh, an assault rifle. Not. I don't know. I don't think it's a collage. Let's see if we can make any adjustments. Oh, 
nice. There's a kalash. All right. Let's uh, let's get these things customized. Don't need night vision. I don't want to reduce the stability too much. Put the heavy grip on. Double barrels. Closed reflex sight. Don't like that. Stick with the green laser. I don't need infrared. Five med kits. Do some more shotgun ammo. Um, I'll try and be as stealthy as I can, I guess. Okay, guys, uh, just looking at the time. I think I'll end the episode there before we get involved in any action here. So, um, yeah, we saw a bit of the station. We got an idea of the situation uh, with our ch from our chats uh, with the general about the decision to, to keep the information uh, away from the general, uh, a secret from the general public and the decision to go out in phases because they've only got the capacity to move out certain people. So they're prioritizing the command ahead of the normal people, which is always a bit of a, a dangerous decision. Um, and now we're right in the middle of the, of the rebellion, of the riots. So we'll pick it up here next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you back in the Metro.